I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Power Electronics. In this session, I'm going to discuss most important topic that is harmonics reduction techniques in inverters. We already discussed about the salient features of inverters and types of inverters and different type of PWM techniques. Now uh, we are moving on to how to minimize uh, harmonics reduction uh, in the case of inverters. So you know that like a 5% of like uh, harmonics are permitted for every type of inverters. But if the uh, like a uh, percentage of harmonics is more than 5% that is not, not tolerable. Okay, because that will severely impacting on the power quality. Uh, moreover, the lifespan of the equipments uh, that will be re reduced. So filter is one of the solution, but uh, if you want to go for like a, a higher order filter, it will be too complicated. Fine tuning of filter that is not so easy. So as the number size of filter increases, the system complexity also will be getting increased. That is pretty inconvenient. Uh, moreover, uh, if I talked about economy, that is not favorable. So like let's see how to uh, overcome the impact of harmonic reduction uh, in the case of uh, inverters. What are the sad, sad various techniques that will be applicable for minimizing the harmonic reduction? The first technique is actually called the PWM, harmonic reduction by using pulse width modulation. Uh, so uh, you know you already know that to turn on the power switches, we require PWM. So in the pattern itself, we are going to produce the PWM such a way that um, we need to control instead of like a single PWM, we'll be using multiple pulses. Okay, actually we would have used only one pulse instead of using single pulse, it would be better to use multiple pulses in a half cycle. Okay, there will be like a positive half cycle and negative half cycle and it is better to use multiple pulses in spite of single pulses as you can observe in the diagram. Here, like uh, we'll be using a, a small pulses, like uh, uh, each is, each cases we are going to use small cycle. Uh, so here the peculiarity is uh, the first component A n becomes zero because in Fourier transform we might have known about A n B and all the terminologies. Here you can see like the A n will be equal to zero. So only B n term will be persisting. That is a plus point. Okay. Uh, moreover, we can say like a third and fifth harmonics component can be minimized. For example, B3. B3 stands for third order harmonic, where B, B5 is one of the components which is belong to fifth or fifth order. So B third and fifth order harmonics are most dangerous that can be mitigated by using this particular technique. Also, the corresponding angle that will be alpha, alpha 1 equal to 23.62 degree and alpha 2 is equal to 33.304 degree. This is the calculation part, no need to worry much. Here, ultimately, third and fifth harmonics will be eliminated. Okay. Uh, similarly, you can compute uh, like a seventh, ninth, and eleventh harmonics by using those values alpha, alpha one, and alpha two. So it is very, uh, very clear that. Uh, please look at carefully. So seventh comp harmonics component will be 0.3155 bs. That means thirty-one percentage of input voltage. Similarly, ninth order harmonics, ninth order component will be equal to almost 52 percentage of supply voltage, where 11th order will be 38 point, 38 percentage of supply voltage. However, these uh, like harmonic components are present over there. However, that is not severe as that much of third and fifth harmonics that entirely become uh, diluted, that becomes zero. Okay, that is a plus point of using like uh, using multiple pulses. Uh, like each half cycle, you can uh, use multiple pulses and you can mitigate third and fifth harmonic effectively. So hope you understood why we should go for uh, like a multiple pulse more modulated inverter. Okay, that is a speciality. So please be uh, please be aware about this. Now, like there is a computation uh, B one like uh, B one you can compute uh, by using this particular formula. Okay, so. So this is actually called a PWM techniques. Basically, the inverter rapidly switches as the output voltage on and off to increase the AC wave that is closer to the smooth sine wave. Here, peculiarity is using multiple pulses. In the each half cycle, we are uh, making uh, like the output which is closer to the expected sinusoidal waveforms and uh, uh, removing third and fifth harmonics completely zero, but uh, there will be an effect of uh, seventh, ninth, and eleventh order harmonic, but that will not play much more important uh, power quality issues. The result 
that will be reduced to the lower order harmonics, especially third and fifth harmonics. And we already computed the calculation also. We already familiar with the calculation. Then common uses are like a modern inverters. Okay. Second one is actually called a very important technique. Uh, and also it is special type uh, that is uh, like harmonic reduction by using transformer connections. Here you can see like uh, we have DC input and the uh, output of uh, DC like that is given to the inverter 1 and inverter 2. Of, of course, the output of inverter 1 and inverter 2 will be purely sinusoidal. Okay, not purely sinusoidal, there is a harmonic component. There are harmonic components. To overcome that, we are going to use two uh, like a 1 is to 1 transformer. What is 1 is to 1 transformer? It is also known as isolation transformer where number of turns at primary and secondary are identical. If you take the transformation ratio, that will be effectively equal to 1. So, assume that it's a coupling will be ideal. Here, like uh, we'll, we are able to get V01, uh, that is corresponding to inverter 1, V02 corresponding to inverter 2. Both are like uh, out of phase, V01 and V02. So, according to this theory, like uh, the uh, harmonics components will be getting cancelled because V01 and V02 both are opposite. Also, we are using like a, one of the isolation transformer. So that play to reduce the harmonic component effectively. Okay, that is actually, so the output to waveform that is almost sim closer to the sinusoidal waveforms. So this type of technique is generally called as harmonic reduction by using transformer connection. Okay, so basically transformer connections are uh, like, uh, we are using uh, like a isolation transformer. Do remember this. Then uh, computation of V01. V01 you can compute in this fashion. Or the output will be like V02 also you can compute in this particular uh, equations. Look at this. V01 and V02. Ultimately, V02, V02, V02 is equal to V01 plus V02. Okay. So amplitude of the fundamental output will be proper phase shift. You can express like V01, V01, V01M is equal to 4 Vs by pi into root 3. That is equal to 8 Vs by pi. So in this method, the inverters derated by 13 percentage of its less compared to previous method. So previous method, we studied about the PWM technique. Compared to PWM technique, almost 13 percentage of the harmonic reduction can be happened by using uh, the transformer connections. It's a special type of transformer, you know, like isolation transformer. Uh, another one is actually called a multi-level inverter. It is one of the most important research area nowadays because people are working on like uh, multi-level inverters. So you already studied about like single pulse, multiple pulse, etc. Here the thing is the pulses, the pulses will be having like a different width. You are going to generate the pulses with a different width and height. So that uh, like uh, it will create the stepped waveforms. As the number of stepped waveform increases, of course, uh, the harmonic content will be minimized. So the exact uh, picture of like a multiple, sorry, multi-level inverteries in this fashion, we have the output voltage. V0 is the sum of V01 and V02. Here you can see here, like uh, the uh, pulses will be having different height and different width. So height will be like a 4 Vs. The width is equal to how much? Uh, D4. D, then D3. D2, D1, like this. Okay. So the advantage, I would like to uh, suggest you, inform you that the main advantage is most of the harmonic component is getting cancelled. Only like a uh, uh, lower order harmonics will be uh, higher order, har like uh, high value harmonics will be uh, pertained. So that doesn't matter that we can mitigate. So uh, instead of generating AC waveforms in just two level, positive and negative level, multi-level inverter generate multiple voltage steps. Okay, the main peculiarities which will produce the waveform closer to the sinus sinusoidal waveform with very few harmonics. Okay, like a higher order harmonic or like a, uh, more severe harmonics such, such, such as third and fifth order that will be mitigated. Common usages are like high power applications like the VFD, etc. Next is actually called the increasing switching frequency. So we, we need to select a high switching frequency devices like such as IGBT or MOSFET. Here like uh, increasing the switching frequency, harmonics are pushed to higher frequencies, thereby easier to filter out. Okay, lower order harmonics will be converted into higher value so that it is very easy to use the filter and mitigate it. Okay, uh, it reduces the impact of low frequency harmonics which are uh, harder to remove. Okay, that is another important thing. Uh, common uh, PWM inverters and VFT. These are the major applications of increasing the switching frequency. Okay. Also, the board size can be reduced if you if the switching frequency is very high. Okay. Losses will be minimized. So many advantages are there. Next is harmonic uh, injection or selectivity harmonic elimination. SHG. Selectivity harmonic elimination. Okay.
Now here, uh, the specific switching angles are carefully chosen to eliminate particular harmonics, especially alpha 1, alpha 2, those values will be chosen and accordingly, uh, you can mitigate uh, the uh, certain level of harmonics without any like uh, uh, high setup uh, as we discussed uh, like a bit early regarding uh, the multiple pulse mode, uh, multi, 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 multi pulse modulation. They reduce the unwanted frequencies by making the wave cleaner without any extra components. That is another uh, like a plus point. Then common uh, usage will be like a, where uh, like a common uh, inverter design where target harmonics needed to be minimized. Okay. So in this session, uh, most important topics were discussed. Number one, how to what is harmonics? Okay. How the harmonics is getting produced? Because you are dealing with a semiconductor power electronic devices. So fast switching, the fast switching action. So definitely that will create the impact of uh, electromagnetic field. Okay. So the main thing is uh, we need to focus on uh, like a lower order harmonics and higher order harmonics. Third and fifth harmonics is most dangerous. Okay. That we have to mitigate. So to understand that uh, we, we need to prepare uh, different methods. One is harmonic reduction by PWM, which is most common. Where we use multiple pulse width modulation. Harmonic reduction uh, like uh, by using uh, transformer connection. You, we require isolation transformer like uh, output 1 and output 2 will be like uh, out of phase. Now computation of V01, V02, then some will be V01 plus V02. These are the mathematical equations. No need to uh, like uh, bother much more, but uh, we, sh we should have a basic knowledge. That's important. So another important thing is like uh, multi-level inverters. So understood what is multi-level inverters, how multi-level uh, inverter minimize the harmonic current generation. These are the basic information I want to add. Then conventional method is like increasing the switching uh, frequency. Similarly, like uh, the another method is short form is SHE. Okay, that's just like ingestion to minimize uh, third and fifth harmonics. Other one is active harmonic filters. So that will actively monitor the output and inject the counter current cancel out to harmonics. Okay. Uh, is it very effective for reducing the harmonics, but it can be more complex and costly. That's a like a outcome. Okay, then uh, it is used for application needed where precise harmonic control. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any clarification regarding this. I would like to answer that. Happy learning. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching this video.